All right, y'all boys, this is the MGT Quick Thoughts. Why the fuck this shit look like I'm, you feel me? This is bitch, motherfucker, I'm struggling to get in this bitch, dog. God damn. They getting bigger, bro. That's the gains from retaining, man. All right, so real quick, this video is not going to be too long, you feel me? I got to head to work in a little bit. But this is just MGT Quick Thoughts. It's your boy, Mooch Star, and I'm back again with another video. So let's get straight into the video. God damn it, bro. Muscle hair, muscle neck hair, ass me. All right, so today's topic, real quick. Um, essentially, bro, uh, the past is the past, bro. Okay, we gotta let the past go. Essentially, um, this has been put on my spirit as of um, recent. You know, it's the end of the year right now. You feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Throughout the retention journey, bro, you, you, you're gonna develop so many relationships with uh, different types of people. Um, you're gonna develop relationships with different types of women, um, you know, from different situations, whether they're, you know, married, not married type shit. You feel me? See, the thing is, it always starts out as something being very in innocent because, you know, you're not talking to a female with the intention of trying to do anything. So, amongst your journey, you're going to attract a lot of females. And shit, you might attract a female that, uh, you know, will want to settle down with you. And, um, you know, everybody has that biological uh, clock within them as to when they, you know, say, you know, I'm done being in the streets or I'm done, like, being single or whatever. Like, I'm just going to be down for one person. And I ain't going to lie, bro. Um, it's a tough, tough pill to swallow when you meet somebody that you fuck with, but for some reason, for some reason, it's just not the right time. It's just not the the place to, to you know, kind of like pursue any type of relationship. And a lot of the times, like women will build attachments to you because again, you're not like no typical guy, bro. Like you're holding on to your energy, you're going within, being high vibrational, you're not being thirsty. And yet you are still turning a lot of these females on. But you got to let go of the past, man. The past is the past, bro. Um, you know how like when females are in a relationship and they're not happy in the relationship and then they, you know, before they leave the relationship, they check out mentally first. It's like you kind of feel, you know, like, you know, whatever girl you're dealing with, bro, like she'll she'll check out type shit. She wouldn't text you as much, call you as much, this, that, and the third, like, um... If that does happen, bro, like, that's just y'all kind of growing apart from each other, dog. You feel me? Or, you know, she's probably just for the streets. She may not be for you. She may just be for you for this moment in time. But in order to kind of get over or get, like, get over your past or move past your past, um, the original, whatever you were doing in your life, bro, like, you have to kind of destroy it. <laughs> you feel me? Not necessarily destroy your life, but... In order to kind of like, when you think about ancient civilizations, bro, in order to move on to the next kind of era, whatever that was built, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever um, society that was built essentially has to fucking be just uh, destroyed. It has to be, you have to create new space for a new, you know, type of reality. So you have to create space in your mind, I would say first, bro. Mentally, I know you're used you're used you're used to the muscle memory of texting her every morning or her texting you at this particular time or you calling calling her at this particular time. It's muscle memory. You built up this habit of wanting to hear from this particular female. Um but when it's like when 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 you know it's just both of y'all are heading in two different directions, man, uh and you still probably may have love for the uh female, it's cool, bro, but I'm telling you right now, man. <laughs> the thing about it is that your 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 ability to kind of see the future or peep patterns is ridiculous. It goes crazy. And if you don't want to hurt somebody, you better make sure you feel me. You kind of like, you know, you kind of just like be honest with them. Let them know like what's good. You feel me? Like I am heading in this direction. You're heading in this direction. You know, no hard feelings, but we want to part ways because 
a lot of times when we when we stay in sit situationships, we kind of like move stagnant in life. You feel me? So it's like make a decision. You know, don't go back and forth. Don't be like blocking and unblocking and then unblocking again, blocking again and. You feel me? Like, don't even go back and forth, dog. That's just wasting your energy at this point in time. Let the past go. Move on to the future. Um, don't be afraid of what's out there. See, when you retain your energy, it really don't matter, bro. Like, you experience the abundance uh, lifestyle because you have the mindset first. You know, it's tough. It's not, it's not easy to let go. Like, I had somebody, and this is from a female perspective, but I was telling her, bro, like, you know, she hit me up, type shit. She said she fucked my energy. You know, I fuck with her energy, too. And then she told me her situation. And I'm just like, boy, that's a hell of a situation, man. But essentially, she was saying, like, she doesn't know what she wants to do with her her guy that she's talking to. You know, it's complicated. And um, I told her straight up, I'm like, well, you have to do what's best for you. In order for you to, because she hit me up. But yet she's in a situation ship. And I tell you, bro, it don't matter. It does not matter, bro. Like people who get married or people who, you know what I'm saying? Who's a little bit more mature and shit like that. It don't matter what situation they in. Like once they peep your energy, they can um, feel it. Whether it's through, you know, seeing them at work or even on social media. Because sometimes when you be on social media, the right, you could still meet the right type of energy. You can peep. What, whether or not like it's like okay yeah i can fuck with this person or i can't fuck with this person um just do energy you know seeing energy so yeah um you'll attract a lot of different kinds of females in different kinds of situations and learn i would say even learn from other people's situations too man that's why i say don't be so quick to just want to have sex with these females you can find out so much information about why they got to the situation that they're in now you know, whether you care about that or not, it's totally up to you. But I'm just saying, like, you know, you have to learn how to utilize, utilize everything around you and then utilize. And once you can utilize everything around you, you know, um, you can become so creative with, you know, the type of female that you might meet next. But you have to empty out your space, your mental space. You have to empty out all that extra everything that she was doing that was tied with that female. You have to completely rewire your brain type shit it's the same thing with retaining your energy and not watching porn you're re re rewiring your brain you know you're developing different habits like so i i think ever since i mentally because sometimes too you know you mentally have to accept the fact that it's not the same no more between you know you and whoever um and no love lost either you know but at the end of the day if you want to like Okay, so I, I know a lot of guys, sometimes they think like, damn, okay, it's not working out with my girl right now. Shit, do you think it could probably happen later on? Like, do you think maybe someday it might happen if it doesn't happen now? There's a chance that it might happen. Subconsciously, you might attract that situation to try to happen, but you can't really force somebody to fuck with you or be with you. You know, the only thing you can't really control is your own life, your, your decision making. You feel me? How often you... um how often you are out there in the matrix and whether or not like you're going to let people drain your energy. You feel me? Or you're going to let a relationship, I should say, drain your energy. You don't want to be in a, in a relationship where you're drained. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's, the, it's kind of productive. It's like, why, why would you even put yourself in that situation for real, for real? You want to be happy, you know? So, so again, bro, you know, it's just time to let go of the past type shit. Um, and if they really fuck with you, they'll be around. If they really, really fuck with you, they fuck with your energy, they 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 see what you got going on. If they love you type shit, they'll understand. You know, a lot of women sometimes they be like selfish. They don't give a fuck about what you got going on, what journey you got going on. They only like the fact that you're doing something and they can barely, you know, hang out with you type shit because you're always working, always going to the gym, always working on something. The moment you stop that, the moment you stop working on yourself and stop doing extra shit, that's when the attraction level goes down. And then, you know, for some reason, all of a sudden she, oh, I don't know why. He just doesn't do, do it for me. I don't know. I think I want to try somebody else. Da, 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 da. Like, bro, half the time, bro, a lot of the breakups and a lot of the reasons why people separate is because 
the guy had changed what he was doing from the beginning up until, you know, talking to the female, becoming lazy, becoming complacent, things of that nature. So, you know, just let go of the past, let it be. And um, you'll be surprised, bro. The future is going to be very, very bright, bro. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot more females, a lot more people, a lot more situations that you are going to experience. But you have to you have to let the past go. If you don't let the past go, you probably might experience something similar to your past or you'll never experience um, some of you will never experience uh, like a new way of life, like a new way where you can live and new people that you can meet type shit. You feel me? You'll miss that out if mentally you haven't moved on from the past. You feel me? But other than that, it's been your boy Moody Star. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, drop a like, um, share, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, sub to the channel. You feel me? And, you know, shout out to everybody that's, you know, working on themselves every single day. Shout out to all the new subscribers and shout out to everybody um, that's, that's treating this like a lifestyle for real, man. You got to let go of the past and you just have to focus on yourself, you know, retain your energy. Don't, don't, don't be releasing too much because you don't want to drain yourself, um, by yourself. You feel me? But yeah, I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.